Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. I don't know what openings I'm playing today. Uh, we just know that the 5E Vanguard Pawn is the strategic point. Something I tried to harp on uh, the previous day when I was playing against a 3 Don opponent and unfortunately got outplayed, although I had a good game. Um, yeah, if you just hold on to the center square, good luck. Then you can actually make quite a bit of progress. Um, alright, you know, I'm feeling this today. So, this is what I'm playing. This is what I'm playing. Okay, are they going to block their bishop or no? Okay, they do not block the bishop. So this allows me to attack this way. That's interesting. Okay. We'll take things this direction then. Um, so this bishop could be vulnerable in one or more ways. Okay, what the heck? I have a choice between moving the silver and moving the knight. Or pushing this pawn. Um... Let's defend my rook and take it out of the bishop's path. Just in case everything goes wrong. And then we'll just win a bishop. In the best case scenario. Um, well, that's a free pawn. Uh, but then they drop a pawn and I lose my silver. No, I don't, because my rook is not hanging. See weird position. Um, hmm. That is a free pawn though. Silver takes, pawn drop, pawn up, takes, takes. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look right. There's got to be some way to make that work, though. Everything just looks very loose in this position. Hmm. Yeah, I am tempted to resolve the tension, but every way I can resolve it, um, I end up being worse. But maybe it's fine somehow. Okay, we're just going to go for this, and I just don't see the problem. Uh, other than I'm down two minutes, and that potentially is a problem, but... Uh, we'll burn that bridge when we get there.
they might trap my silver. Oh, that does not trap my silver. That makes other threats. This game's tricky. If I retreat, bad stuff happens. Now it's atypical to push this. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, we're following what our proverb tells us to do. Strange. So strange. So I'm down three minutes, but I've got a good position. A difficult position, but a good one. Gofun. And now that I'm blitzing, I'm surely in a lost position instead of a winning one. Um, like, surely I had a good position earlier, and I've thrown away all of my advantage and then some. Um, Yeah, who knows? I just realized that I could take this pawn, and so maybe I'm alive. 
but it's this is so messy. So the plan is to pawn drop, pawn drop, and do the same sacrifice I did earlier, and it'll cut through this time. But they'll just drop a pawn in response. Um, it won't actually cut through. No, I could move out the knight and then drop a pawn, and I could win a knight and then reassess. That's a reasonable course of action. Um, the opponent doesn't see it coming, so we'll just do it. Okay. I was going to do this anyway, but sure, I'll take your pawn. I have three pe four pieces actually guarding this square. Um, so we've gone from me having an okay position to a not okay position, and we're back to having an okay position again. Cool. Shogi is hard. This time control doesn't do anyone any favors. Like, he could have spent a little more time and generated some amazing moves, but he focused on stabilizing this position and just didn't see my one idea. And I saw my one idea, and now I'm back in the game. So... Yeah, these impulsive moves didn't serve him well, I think. Um... Okay, that's a free knight. They did get a pawn. Interesting. Wait, what? Oh, okay. There is a purpose to it. Um, hmm. Is the king going to move away from this gold general? Because that could be interesting. Nope, the king sticks with the general and goes down with the ship. Okay then. Your call, not mine. I mean, yeah, I could have taken this pawn and probably lived. But are we living if we're not attacking? <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I should take this. Yeah, I don't see a fork, so I'm just going to walk into whatever this is. Oh, another sacrifice. That's actually clever. Silver drop. Yeah. Nice! He found a way to save himself. I'm impressed. That's not an easy find. Um, and in being so impressed, I made an oopsie. Okay, how do I recover from my oopsie?
2分30秒This is going to be quite messy here in just a minute. Everything is hanging. Uh, nice. Ippun Sanjubio. Gold drop, I think, is best, but it's sad. Ippun. Nijibio.
One down, two to go. Does 81 Dojo use reviewed games to assign a style? Um, I think 81 Dojo automatically picks the style. Good luck. Um, so when it says swinging rook player, I think that's generated by 81 Dojo. You don't get to select that from any kind of selector. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the fudge? Is this real? You are correct, Transport. I did not say thanks last game. You are correct. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, you got my curiosity. What's going on in this position? I'm not gonna, like, hang this pawn or hang this knight in order to build my castle. But I am curious what's going on in this position. I could exchange, which makes things more difficult for my bishop. Um, interesting. Actually, that's maybe not so bad. Well, this is not hanging, is it? Interesting. Um... I might have made a big boo-boo. Uh, I might have made a big boo-boo. I don't know. Let's just build the castle and hope that it's fine. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong here? My rook's hanging. That's not a good start. Oh dear. 
Should I resign? This is bad. Bishop. Rook moves. They take... Well, they don't get to take all my stuff in one turn. Yeah. This is kind of ugly. Um... Nanafun. Well, let's launch my big plan, which was to take this silver. And if this didn't work out, then to take this gold. It's such a big plan, because it takes, like, at least one move to complete. Um... Now, if I don't move my bishop, I lose it for nothing. So I have to move the bishop. And then, yeah, whatever. This is fine. Okay, let's take that, I guess. And just prepare to lose all the rest of my pieces, one by one. Um, hmm. Okay, this is the dumbest gold drop ever, but if it works, it works. Maybe I should have dropped it one over and taken the knight first. I don't know. Probably dropping this one over. I mean, then they defend the knight and I don't have any attack, so it's kind of sad. Um, if I run my rook, they just keep hitting it, so we're just not going to run. You can take my rook. It's fine. I wasn't using it anyway. Sure, I get checkmated after this, but who's counting? Oh, yeah, I guess that's a pretty major threat. I can't let that just sit here. What? Okay. That is legal. What does this do? What could this gold drop possibly achieve? Gofun.
could bewilder an adversary, I suppose. If the idea was to take the square, surely there were better ways about it. Do I have to grovel here and actually chase the knight? It looks that way. Um, okay, grovel. Here's the groveling. <laughs> okay, what? What is this? It's true, you do want to remove the gold generals from the Anaguma castle as the opponent, but um, I got a gold in hand and it just went back onto the board. Like, that didn't actually remove the gold from my castle. Plus, I'm attacking a dragon now. Um, if gold takes, am I dead? I don't think so. This might be one of the less effective attacks against this castle. Um, I think I just got stupidly lucky, and even so I might still be losing. Or if I am winning this somehow, I just don't see it. This is a purely defensive move, and we know in Shogi... Purely defensive moves never work. Um, yeah, case in point. Something. My attack is like 35 million moves too slow. So I haven't like tried to power up the attack any. Like, any attack I can launch would be futile. So that's why I keep trying to defend this position. But permanent defense is not a strategy. I need an attack, but I just don't have one.
Yeah. That's pretty wild that they continue refusing in that endeavor. Um... This attack is doomed to fail, but um, everything is. So let's just do this and get it over with. Yeah, that is a mate in one threat right there. Uh, I've got nothing. GG. Well played. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Eh, it's only a 101 win streak. We'll be fine. They got their 101 wins out of the way. Um, they don't need a win number 102. I'm sure they'll just let me win this, right? I mean, after you've got 101 consecutive victories, do you really need another victory? Or do you want something different at that point? Bishop, silver, bishop, knight. Not quite enough. Mm -hmm. I've done this shit before, and I know this doesn't work, so why am I playing it? I don't know. <sighs> That's too bad.
Yeah, I could have put the bishop back here. That would have been different than what I've previously done. Hmm. Okay, this looks too fun. Which means I'm going to lose this game uh, somehow in a way I'm not seeing at the moment. Oh, I guess that was hanging, wasn't it? Hmm. I see. Yeah, I'm not sure that this is good for the site's stock. This pattern of slow moves and quick moves, and slow moves and quick moves. That's not how the site's revenue model works. Yeah, maybe. Anything's possible. You'd think, though, the site would eventually get somebody who does that. Maybe not in one game. Maybe not after five games. Maybe after 102 games, they the site would figure it out. Um, maybe not, though. Maybe I'll manage to play a move that's so singularly bad that no engine will know how to respond to it. Yeah, but if they haven't caught a player after 101 games, like, why bother? Um... So there's two possibilities here. Either it is happening or it's not happening. And either way, um, doesn't really matter what I do. And then, yeah, if you run this through some engine, 
you'll say, oh, hey, look, that player sacrificed a pawn, and then they dropped a pawn. These are not engine moves. Like, okay. Yeah. So there's some human moves going on in here. And then you look at the time usage, and it is not fully regular. So, like, yeah. It could be a good player that's just having other problems. Um, like, this could be completely legitimate. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. And they could have whatever kind of challenges using websites. Uh... Oh, horse takes. That's really crafty. I miss that, obviously. Um. Nanafun. Yeah, this is a bit surprising. Uh, I really don't know what happened here. That would be funny. That would be so hilarious, wouldn't it?
You know who's not out of Kishin? Hmm. No. We don't need it. They did achieve King of the Hill. Wait. Yeah. Like I said, it's quite possible this could be a legitimate opponent. They could just have some challenges somehow with whether it's a computer or whether it's a phone or something else. They could have real-life distractions. There's all kinds of things that this could be other than what it looks like. Yeah, I am equally stunned. I didn't notice when it said 101 winning. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, but, yeah. Apparently I'm breaking somebody's 101 win streak, so... Um, I hope they enjoy their day or night. Thanks for the game. Alright, uh, normally I transition to the end screen, but we'll just stay on the screen here. Uh, thanks for watching these games. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a good day.